And higher tolls for drivers fix traffic in Manhattan? Walk the streets of Manhattan, and you may soon see hundreds of new cameras covering every lane headed downtown. They're charging a new toll on congestion. We are going to be the very first state in the nation, the very first city in America, to have a congestion pricing plan. The new toll covers much of lower Manhattan. Entering this zone in a car could cost up to $23 a day. It's going to be an example for cities all over the country to rethink how they use their street space. But a plan of this scale will affect millions of people every day. Not everyone is a fan. Most people are only focused on the fact that they are going to have to pay $23 to get into Manhattan. The pocketbook issues always take priority over the environmental issues or anything else that's related to the problem. The MTA will use its share of project revenues to secure $15 billion in financing for system maintenance and capital investment. You know, the public transit system that millions of New Yorkers rely on every single day has been disinvested in almost from day one. Many parts of the system have suffered basically a century of deferred maintenance. You know, over the last 70 years, the federal government is focusing almost exclusively on investing in our roads, infrastructure, and interstate highway system. So we're not going to undo 70 years of policy. Can higher tolls for drivers fix traffic in Manhattan? Shalom, shalom. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha Kadash. Double honors to the apostle, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation for the hopeful like Akim, but let's push this word to sincerity. So we'll start with the scripture, Jeremiah 51, verse 8. It's Babylon suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so be, she may be healed. Well, guess what? There ain't going to be no healing in Babylon. See, what, what you see here is, is similar to any of the state or very similar to what's going on in California with their um, express, um, their, you know, the, the lane, how they call that stuff, uh, free pass, okay? And, and how, how they know when there's, when there's people don't have a free pass, there, there'll, be a letter sent to your, there'll be a letter sent to your mail with a charge, okay? And you got about 10 days to pay the charge. If you don't, it doubles. Okay, so what they installing, you know, New, in New York, which is called the Empire State. I'm going to explain to you the Empire State. I'm going to explain to you. Just give me a moment, all right? What they installing in the camera is very similar to what's going on in Cali with the, with the free pass. But they have live camera feed, okay? So they can read your place, who belongs in there. They can charge you. So they basically trying to cripple the poor, okay? It's enough that they raising rents and apartments, how homes, mortgages on homes, the cost of living went up, okay? Natural resources such as gas, electricity, water went up. So it's basically they basically trying to <laughs> cripple the poor, man. Okay? Why? Because this is part of the plans of the elites, man. Okay, to what to um to have the people prepare themselves for the new world order for the bark of the beast system, the MOTB, which is the RFID chip. Okay, this goes hand in hand with the digital plates. That's gonna go hand on hand. Trust me, they're gonna catch those riders, <laughs> those drivers who's going to Manhattan without the you know, they're gonna catch them, man. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna expect a letter in your house in your mail. Okay, with double the charge or triple, but we already know what they're doing, man. So we're not ignorant of the of Satan devices because you got to understand this world, this earth was given to the hand of the wicked. Okay, don't forget that this earth was given to the hand of the bases of men, the wicked, the so-called white man Esau Edom. All right, he's running this earth right now. All right, so let's get the scripture. This is um. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. And you know, it's, you know, you know, you got impatient people out there, impatient assholes. Yo, why y'all keep repeating the same scripture? Well, you know what? Because we at that time where that scripture needs to be read for you dumb idiots out there for you to understand it. But the one who's going to get it is the elect, okay? And Lord willing, we're the hope for the elect here. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. 
lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So who's the, the embodiment of Satan here on this earth? Is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. Okay? All right? So we not we don't lack knowledge of the devices he's trying to put up there, all right? And now they're gonna try to push a law in place that will charge these drivers, these hard workers out there in Babylon, which most of it is Israel, Israelites, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. They are the workforce. They the ones who keep the wheels turning here in Babylon the Great. Okay, all right. So they're attacking the poor with their unrighteous decrees and plans. To put forth here in New York Now I'm going to explain why it's called the Empire State Okay Alright so New York is the Empire State It's basically like the head nigger in charge Put it like that So whatever laws they passed in New York Every other state will follow Mostly the blue states Okay The red states The Republicans going to have some pushback But in time they're all going to fall in line to save their precious America, man. Okay? All right? So New York sets the trend. Everybody else, everybody else will follow. It's the Empire State. The top. Okay? When it comes to fashion and entertainment and, and various other things, man. Okay? So, and you, you got to understand, what's the inhabit, uh, what's the uh, inhabitants of Maktesh? Wall Street. Where, where Wall Street's based in? New York. All right? So... So look, they're going to push their laws to inflict the poor, man. To afflict the poor. And is it enough that this place, America, is in high, great debt? So they figure by doing this, they're going to try to, you know, bring more money in. Well, yeah, they're doing that. But at the same time, they're destroying the poor. Which we want this to happen. Why? Because it's part of prophecy. All right? So this is, um, let's get it out. This is Isaiah, the 10th chapter. Verse 1, I'm going to start at the top. Isaiah, the 10th chapter, verse 1. All right, and it reads, Woe unto, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree by charging the congestion law, right? They call it the congestion law. Well, you got to understand who's the root cause and the common, denom the common denominator who caused this congestion. The so-called white man, Esau, Edom. How hypocritical is that, man? Okay. So they pushing a law right now that they're gonna charge travelers that need to go to work to you know to you know to pay for water, pay for food, pay for the cost of living, inflicting more burning more holes in their pockets, <laughs> you know, and just really can stress them out, man. That's what Esau Edom do, man. He gets the the biggest stress <laughs> causer ever, man. All right. So let's read it, Isaiah 10, verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness. See, this law that they're passing is griev grievousness. It's like they put a, ch a chokehold on the Israelites, man, which, which Esau is doing. Okay? It's putting a chokehold on the people, like you see in this picture with Draymond Green choking out this dude, man. That's what it's doing. It's putting a chokehold in your pockets. So what they prescribe me is grievousness, man, all right, which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right for the poor of my people, okay? All this bullshit right here is basically trying to insert them for the new world order, man, okay? All right? They're trying to prepare them for that RFID chip, the mark of the beast. They're trying to merge man with machine they try to make the smart city right in front of your faces okay and we're watching and every state is going to follow along with this unrighteous decree man you know why because the head nigger is in charge the so-called white man esau edom all right he changes laws he changes times all right so he could do whatever he want why because this is his playground all right only for a season only for a season. So, brothers and sisters, stand pat, increase increase your prayers, because it's going to be a rough ride, because it's going to lead to this. This is Jeremiah 30, verse 7. And it needs and it needs to happen, man. It needs to, it needs to happen. All right. Because a lot a lot of you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, you need to be put down like the dogs you are, man. Okay? So this is Jeremiah 30, verse 7. 
And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble. Who's Jacob? That's talking about these so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, the Israelites. That's Jacob. There's going to be a time of trouble for you, man. And there's going to be time and time. It's going to be trouble after trouble after trouble to a point that you cannot hold it. It's going to be so uncomfortable. It's going to be crazy, man. Okay? It's going to be lawlessness that's going to occur, man. It's going to be riots when it comes to this. Watch. Just watch. All right? Jeremiah 30, verse 7, the last for the day is grace, so the none is like it is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Who's that he? It's talking about the elect of Israel, so-called Negro Latino Native Americans, the elect of them. 12,000 in each tribe and the one-third, man. All right? So you see these devils that, you, hey, look, the wheels are turning for these times to come, man. The wheels is turning for for the the for the arrival of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai to set order on this earth, man, and destroy Babylon. Okay, so hey, keep watching. Don't be ignorant of what these people doing, man. Keep an eye on everything. All right. So with that, just a quick lesson with that on the road. Shalom.